Hello everyone. In this video, I'm going to take you through a photographic documentary of how I managed to get the bonnet open indication in the Highline instrument cluster of my Polo. Some of you who have followed the chronicles of my GT on Team BHP would know that the GT's ownership thread was also the most viewed on the forum with over 1.8 million views. Back in March 2016, when I did this DIY, this was also a first for any Polo in India, like a few others I had done, so naturally, I was quite proud of this feat. I had changed the stock instrument cluster of my GT, which had a small red backlit multifunctional display, or an MFD in short, to a Highline instrument cluster from the Polo GTI, which had a speedo marked till 280 km per hour, a taco till 8000 RPM, dedicated dials for the coolant temperature and the fuel quantity, and a large full-fledged MFD, which truly was multifunctional because it did display a whole host of information, which can be customized depending on what you wanted to see on the display. Initially, I had an RCD 510 head unit, which had a built-in 6 series changer, which I never used in its lifetime, and an external Bluetooth module. This combination would output a bunch of info to the MFD of the upgraded instrument cluster. Check these out. Music source, such as FM radio, including the channel. Telephony data, such as the phone book, dial numbers, caller info, status of the call, etc. Coming to the point, the MFD would also display which specific door was open, but not the bonnet. Back in the day, I used to spend a lot of time on the drive to forums online. I've learned a lot from that site, which I've shared as much as possible on Team BHP and in the videos here. I stumbled upon the BCM pinout and figured out that pin 27 of the T73A connector is for the input of the hood limit switch signal. And when I went through the wiring diagram or the current flow diagram, as they say in back terms, I saw that one end of the limit switch is connected to the ground and the other end to 27th pin of the T73A connector of the BCM. It was that simple. Plus, I figured out that the Volkswagen Golf and the Jetta had the bonnet open indication on the MFD of their clusters. I also looked up the part on the parts diagram and part number 18 you see here is the limit sensor switch unit. And the extremely passionate and young team at Volkswagen Navsari led by Umesh, helped me source a limit switch with the cable from a total loss Jetta meant for salvage. Man, I really miss people like these. I installed the sensor on my bonnet lock mechanism, a simple click lock mechanism with absolutely no fasteners. Heck, you don't even have to remove the lock mechanism from the car to install it. It simply latches on to these holes on the body here. As per the wiring diagram, connect the ground cable, that is the brown wire, to the nearest fastener of the body and lead the other cable to inside the car through a hole on the firewall on the co-driver side. You'll have to raise the coal here to access the hole on the firewall which is this one. If you are a stickler for proper connections, the male 2-pin connector on the micro switch you see here is the same as the one on the Volkswagen Horns. So you will need a corresponding 2-pin female pigtail connector which is this one. Connecting it to the T73A connector is quite simple. First, the large black connector with a white tab is connector A. Press on the tab here and rotate the white latch so the connector comes off from the BCM. Move these two pins outward and pull the black terminals out of the connector housing. They can come apart like this. So locate pin number 27 and insert the pin. And voila, the bonnet open indication was up on my cluster. It was good to have something which was sort of already there, but it didn't. So that is all guys, I hope this was useful and you like this photographic documentary series. But stay tuned, there are a few more coming up. Thank you so much for watching, I'll see you in the next one.